look what I finally picked up from my dealer. Ah, shit. This is my Noveski Gen 2 lower or FFL lower. And this is Noveski's first billet lower. <laughs> the highlight to this lower is um, it features a flared magwell, as you can see. And this is very, I mean, this has been very hard to find. I've been looking for this lower for about a month or so. And pretty much every site is sold out, and I finally got lucky and found it. Um, so I got it right away. And I initially didn't want to get a blem, or this is a chainsaw edition in Novesky's terms, which is basically a blem lower. And this lower is perfect in every way, except there is one mark on here, which is right over here. Which is, I mean, I plan to paint this in FDE, so I can easily just uh, fill, it, fill that up and then paint it in FDE. And this lower is going to be on my uh, 300 blackout build. So I'm going to call it the Noveski Medium, I guess. I'll be using uh, Brownell, Brownell's uh, Alumahide 2 in Coyote, which is the closest match to uh, Magpul's FDE color. I got some components so far, which is the Miad grip, which I have in all my rifles, which is my favorite grip. And I'm get, I got the new Magpul STR stock to go with this build, just because I like the CTR stock and this it's just an upgraded version of the CTR. Comes with a uh, storage compartments and a higher cheek weld, so that's why I got it. The lower parts kit I will be getting is a Daniel Defense lower parts kit, but I just found out they stopped producing the lower parts kit, so it's gonna be hard to find some. <laughs> if I can't find that, I'll probably go with a Spikes Tactical kit for the safety. I'm gonna go with the Battle Arms uh, Ambi Safety, with, just like all my rifles. The upper receiver for this build, I'm um, looking at the Veltor MUR upper, which is very nice. I had my eye on that for a while. Uh, I'll probably paint that in FDE as well. For the barrel, I'll be looking at the uh, Noveski 16 inch barrel. For the rail system, I want to try something a little different. I've been, you know, I've had no, uh, I have, I've had uh, down defense rails on my both of my rifles. So I want to try something different and maybe go with a Centurion Arms C4 rail, which has caught my attention these last couple of months. Their rails look just as high quality as no, as down defense rails, and they're easier to install, and they're a little cheaper too. So, the other rail I was looking at is a KAC URX 3.1 rail or the or a URX 3 rail. The only thing I don't like about that rail is that I have to buy a a very expensive tool to install it. The wrench is about one hundred twenty dollars. If you guys out there have that rail, let me know how uh, easy or hard it was to install. Because that's the only other rail I'm looking at right now for this 300 blackout build. For the charging handle, I'll be running a uh, BCM gunfire charging handle. Or I might actually try uh, Rainier Arms uh, ra uh, Raptor charging handle. But they're sold out right now too. So For the optic, I've got my eyes set on a Trijicon SRS red dot which is a very nice red dot. A little expensive, but if you think about it, my Aimpoint M4S with a Bobro mount comes out close to uh, how much a Trijicon SRS red dot would cost. So, and I heard nothing but good reviews on the SRS red dot, so I might be getting that. Or I might just go with a T1, we'll see. And for a light, Maybe I'm looking for a Surefire Scout on it. I think that's pretty much it. 
So stay tuned to my uh, project. I'll keep you guys posted and upload more videos. If you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, feel free to uh, give me or feel free to comment and let me know.